Hi everyone, Techfina here and in this video I want to show you the difference between Canva and Canva for Education and why I feel every educator should take advantage of becoming a team member with Canva for Education. Now Canva is a graphic design platform is used to create social media graphics, presentations, posters, documents, virtual content. You can download it from Play Store. It comes as an app and you can use it on the web just like I'm doing now. And it also has the free and paid version. You have the Canva Pro, you have for Enterprise with other additional function. Now, Canva also has a free platform for all educators, which I think um, we need to, all educators should take advantage of. So I'm going to show you how that account looks like. To have that account, you need, you can subscribe with, um, you can subscribe with your credentials or if you have a teaching document, something to show that you work in a classroom, it will be easy for you to create account with Canva for Education. Now, it's a free offering from Canva for all K-12 educators and their students, and they get benefits like the premium features. They have access to premium features such as millions of images, fonts, graphics, videos, animations, thousands of educational templates and learning resources. It also integrates with other uh, edutech platforms like Google Classroom, Remind, Snapchat, um, Team, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Word. Even if you are collaborating on your Google Drive, that point online from Microsoft Office, you can integrate seamlessly if you are using the Canva for Education soft, uh, account. Now, once you become a member with Canva for Education, I think it lasts for three years, yes. All you need is just the verification process. Once you apply for it, you go to canva.com slash education, sign up. I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the description to this video so you can have access to it. You can create, you can have customize your Google Classroom headers, mass worksheets, lesson plans, class schedules, and uh, a lot of other resources that you can let's go to the free one so that you understand what i'm trying to say so now i want to look for this noji template here you use this noji templates to create virtual classroom virtual classroom okay so let's say templates Click on the search button. So you can see that there's nothing like that on the free Canva account. So now let's try the Canva for Education and see how it is. If we're going to see something like that. I just want to show you some benefits that you, you can derive as an educator it's not like the other Canva is not something you can use it's very very it's something you can explore you can do a lot of things with it if you are very creative but the Canva for education just provide teachers and learners more opportunities now whether you're a teacher or a student Canva for education makes it easy to create to collaborate communicate visually in the classroom and beyond this is one of the major benefits of having the Canva for Education. You, it also had loads of resources to help you customize your Google Classroom interface. You can teach with Canva, invite your, or incorporate your Google Classroom, integrate it together with the Canva, or you can import all your classes from Classroom into Canva and share resources. Now, whether you're teaching in person or in a blended or hybrid classroom, online or remote class, Canva for Education gives you opportunities to create collaborative assignments, creativity projects for your learners. So you can see this is an example of what a technology classroom which you can explore, click on anyone and explore with your 
learners you can decide to design any one so let's say for instance you can pick one and just design it and then send it to your classroom then another one again is um, the comic strips now comic strip is very good for it is very good if you want to create a kind of a uh, like storybooks or illustrations where you have like cartoon structures you know like cartoon communication enhancing communication with your learner so you can do that with the education account so now let's see with the free account if you can do something like that actually you can do a lot with the free one i'm just i'm just trying to tell you that you can you have more opportunity with the canva for education account which is very free it's free for all educators so all you need to do is just to register your school and they need your document or your something to show that you're a teacher in the, in the class like your id card you need to snap it and upload it and then after three to five working days they'll get back to you and tell you that okay your account is ready you are free to start collaborating with your learners now this is the free canva.com it's nothing here so what you can decide to design it for those of us who are very 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 creative now if you want to share let's say for instance you've created something and you want to share on the free account you have the option to download it share the link present your facebook or twitter page facebook group instagram dropbox these are the options that you can share to it which is very very okay now let's check the canva for education and let's see how you can do that okay now here let me search for comic comic strips Mm -hmm. I have one here. Okay, so it's loading. Now here we are. You have 264 templates. You can see that you can customize any of the templates here. With Canva for Education, you have access to premium features. Now, if you are using the Canva, uh, Canva dot com that's the free account with canva you know you don't have access to some of the premium features you have in canva pro so if you feel maybe you cannot pay for the premium features and you are an educator you want to still benefit from the numerous benefit that canva for education has to offer you can just apply and you get all those features here and if you are very creative in fact if you are very very creative what you can create is limitless yes so you can just let me just take on one let's say for instance i just want to share this one with my classroom I want to show you how you can integrate it down with your classroom that's if you have a google account where you have your learners as members in your classroom so this is it it's coming up and don't forget that you can you can also get with the free version you have access to 200 and 200,000 quality photographs you have a lot of access with it but with the educational account you have access to million 200 million templates yes because they unlock every all the features which they need it free for their learners for the teachers and their learners okay so now i can decide to edit edit each of these doxies but since that's not the major thing i want to do in this video i'm just going to show you the benefits why you should subscribe or why you should try to get the canva for education account now once you click on this button here now can you see you have the option to send to your fellow teachers who are co-teachers with you in your google classroom platform you can download it you can integrate it with your google classroom straight and your 
students or your learners will receive it as an email asking them to join and collaborate with their colleagues. If you have a Microsoft Teams account, you can integrate with it. Renine is also an app that you can use to renine, to share homework with your learners. You can share it as a link. You can also share just like the free version where you have the Instagram, Disney, Facebook, Twitter, and the rest, and lots more. It has a lot of options and things like that. Okay, so now I want to share it to my classroom now. I want to choose Google Classroom now. So now I have the option now to integrate with the classroom. So I click on continue. It's going to classroom. It's going to show me all my classes. And then I'll select the one I want to use. Okay, so now I'll choose the class. You click on this drop down arrow. And then you can select which one you want to. Okay. Let's say I want to share to this demo class. You choose your action, create an assignment, and you click go. Now it asks you to assign. What's the title? Comic strip. Then the instruction now. I may say that all right create or let me say customize this template to create your own design your own design okay i've given an instruction and it just for 20 marks there due dates okay let me say 25th time optional topic on that which topic is a poetry and then you click on assign okay so i have created an assignment so my learners will receive it in their mail asking them to join to collaborate okay so that's it then let's go back to see more features of this free canva for education now you can also create flashcards i know you can do that with other one but here you already have many templates you just need to tweak it to your own to your own taste to add your own content you can do presentations as well you have educational presentation you have social and emotional learning templates sel templates you can track it then there are worksheets there are worksheets for every subject there are worksheets for every subject so here yeah, social and emotional learning okay so another reason why you should consider using the canva for education account is that it gives you opportunity to create group work activities so let's say for instance um, i want to create a group work activity for students so you can search for the templates okay sorry turn it all right you can search for templates and you can see that there are a lot of templates that you can start working on you can check it to your can track it to your own taste with your content and share it with your assign it to your google classroom and then each team let's say for instance you've created up to five teams in your classroom that means you divided your learners into like five groups team a team d team c you can duplicate the each of the templates there so that 
you can assign each template to each group. Let's say for instance, I want to work on, okay, let's say I want Nylena to just brainstorm on um, fermentation. Let me take this on fermentation. Now, you cannot edit some of these contents here. You can't edit them. It's just for you to just jump in and start using. There are some features that are locked that you cannot edit. You just use it that way. But there are some that you can edit to your test with your content. So let's say, for instance, I've already, let's say I, I want each group in my class to work on this template. What I need to do is to, sorry, is to create, that's, I need to duplicate it so that each team can work on each template. So if I want to duplicate, just click on anyone. This is what I chose. And then duplicate it. Okay, it's coming up. If you're already familiar with designing it, Canva, this shouldn't be a problem. Duplicating templates, it won't be a problem. So you can just duplicate it and then you assign it to the different group in your classroom. So once you've done that, you can tell them that group A work on the first template, group D work on second template. And you can actually edit some contents here. It's not all the template that you cannot edit. There are some template that you can edit. You can edit it and track it with, with your own content and then you can subtitle it to group A, group D, group C, group D. So the moment your learners receive it, they are able to know which template to work on. Since you've already grouped them in the classroom and then you assign it as a take home tax, a brainstorming take home tax they already know which templates they are supposed to work on. Team A knows, okay, I'm working on team, the first template, team D, I'm working on the second template, team C, and so on and so forth. So you create, you choose your, and then you choose an action, create material, and you click go, and you go over all these processes I explained earlier in the previous video so that's how to go about assigning and with that see you in the next video thanks for watching